Um, let's uh, move on, though, also to talk about uh, this Conservative MP who has been suspended by the uh, Conservative Party over claims that he misused campaign funds. The Times reporting today that Mark Menzies, MP for Flight in Lancashire, made a late-night call, 3.15am to be precise, to an elderly aide demanding thousands of pounds to pay what he called bad people who had him locked in a flat. Well, uh, Richard Power Said, um, I mean, look, let's face it, we've got Angela Rayner under a bit of a cloud and investigation over what did or did not happen with her sale of her council house and, and tax and the like. This is going to be this story about Mark Menzies, a Tory MP, until last night when he had the whip suspended. This is gold dust for Labour. They'll be absolutely thrilled that this story has hit the front pages because it's going to take all the attention away from other allegations, very different allegations. Very about different. One of your yes. MPs. Um, I would say that the, the the kind of the main political significance of this Mark Menzies story is just how weak it shows uh, Rishi Sunak to be, right? Because the Tory party found out about this. Well, found out about the allegations. Found out, sorry, yes, it. found out about the allegations. Tonight. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I think more than three months ago. Um, and they, according to the constituency um, uh, member who, who told them about this and until recently has been very supportive of Mark Menzies, um, that they've just sat on it. They haven't done anything with it. And it's very understandable why they would do that, right? Yes. Because they are terrified of another by-election. They've got one next door in Blackpool uh, with Scott Benton after the, uh, the lobbying scandal mm -hmm. with him. Um, they know that they'd probably lose this one as well. It would look absolutely Majority terrible. Majority of what, 15,000, 16,000, 16, which, which we know now, and that used to be a safe seat, not a safe not seat anymore. anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. But that's the thing. You can understand why they sat on it, but, I mean, is it, is it the right thing to have sat on it? Because we're talking about allegations, again, denied by this MP, of the misuse of campaign funds. This is my, Now, mm. people are perfectly entitled, if they so wish, to ask someone to give them some money uh, or lend them some money. Apparently, this £6,500 was the amount of money that was actually eventually paid to, we're told, by is alleged by these people who work for this, this uh, MP, uh, to these bad people. He was released from the flat that day. Um, uh, but then he asked for other money. The money was not paid back to the campaign funds, they were told. That money had been donated for the use of the campaign. Now, if so, it may well be that this misappropriation of funds is actually a criminal issue, in which case it would be... It's not a, it's not a matter that the Tories should sit on. Um, I, I wonder whether any other party would have done anything different, because I think, I think a lot of voters and a lot of voters would go, a plague on all your houses. But we've seen this again and again, when there are allegations, when there are like allegations of sexual uh, wrongdoing, uh, you, you know, women who claim they've been raped by someone working the party or an MP, and these, things, these, these allegations are not passed on to the police. Um, do we just still have a culture of sort of cover-up in Westminster? Or is it one of those things where, you know, we've got elections coming up, we don't want to buy election, but also... You know, we're told the chief whip knew in January. Do chief whips, I'm thinking, thinking House of Cards style, just like to have information on MPs that they can use to strong arm them? They absolutely do enjoy uh, having that kind of information, right? Um, the, the uh, you know what I used to work in Labour Party HQ, and I definitely. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't the happiest uh, period of my life. Um, uh, it was when Jeremy was leader. Um, there was a time, w you know, I'm, I'm not saying that I, I never saw an investigation go slowly, but what I never saw, what I never saw was an accusation of illegality yeah. not get handed over to the cops. That would have been, I mean, absolutely bonkers in, in my understanding of it, because you're immediately putting yourself and your institution, yep. your party, in legal harm's yep. way. But the Conservative leadership is so politically weak right now that they're willing to do wildly yep. bonkers stuff, like not tell the cops when somebody is accused of breaking the law, yep. and then when there's quite good evidence of it. And, you know, Billy Kember, the... Um, uh, the Times reporter um, whose, whose uh, story this is, he quotes um, a source very close to Mark Menzies, this MP, um, as uh, giving, I mean, the kind of thinnest kinds of excuses, like, um, yes, we did use campaign funds for something that they weren't intended for, but I think that actually the people who donated that would have been fine with mm. it if they'd known. Yes. Because, but we didn't ask them because we didn't want to put private information out there. I mean, that's not an excuse for misusing no. campaign funds. Also, it's interesting. We've got this trial going on in New York, Donald Trump, and, and involved, you know, it's hush money paid to storm me down. It's good. 
you're entitled to pay money to a porn actress who claims she had an affair with you and you don't want her to make those stories public um, ahead of a, a, a presidential election. But what you're not allowed to do is is fix your, use the campaign, your, yeah. your campaign funds and, and fix your business accounts to, uh, to, to, to claim that the money was spent on something different. It was spent on legal funds, you know, for, his, for, for Michael Cohen. But this is the thing. You sort of think, well, this is very... This, some of the allegations in this story are that, you know, uh, some of these, 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 these women who worked for, the, for this MP saying, you know, they, he, we, look, we don't have the money in the campaign funds for this. Oh, well, we, we'll just raise some more. <laughs> um, now, we spoke to Bob Seeley earlier. Um, and, we, yeah, I was talking to him about Iran and Israel and, 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 and defence spending and you know, the important stuff that really does matter. And he was quite cross with me for saying, look, this stuff doesn't matter. I don't care. These are allegations. People need to go through due process. We don't have enough of that anymore. Uh, and again, these, you know, it's it's a juicy story because like, who who calls up a 78 year old woman at 3:15 in the morning and goes, "I'm being held by bad people. Send five thousand pounds now." I mean, what on earth are you talking about? Um, you know, it sounds like a you know, it sounds like a sitcom, a sort of made up story, doesn't it? Um, a, a comedy story, but. Um, but, but it does matter, because a lot of this plays into how people perceive politicians generally. And people often, you know, people who hate the Tories, you know, sort of people like Angela Reid, we call them all scum, you know. Well, this is what Tories are like. But you know as well as I do, this has happened to plenty, you know, scandals about plenty of Labour MPs, Lib Dem MPs. We see Reform UK candidates, who just not even MPs, candidates who are being pulled down by uh, various, you know, tweets and, and, and events in their lives. Um, I've been asking Claire about this all, all morning, and and most of my guests, are, are MPs a bunch of wrong'uns? That's the question. I think a lot of people wonder. I mean, my experience of working in, in in Parliament, I'd be interested to know if this is your experience too, is that the vast majority of MPs, um, you know, uh, maybe some of them are more talented than others, but they're mostly like people who are pretty dedicated to the job. That's and been my experience. Yes. But yeah, they're there mostly is... good people who want to do good work, and it's actually a quite a soul-destroying job a lot of the time. Well, that is the thing, right? That I think somebody could go into the job and sort of have good intentions, but it is such a, a, a lonely and uh, unhappy place, Westminster. There is yeah. so much drinking going on. There are so many people whose um, whose entire kind of social lives yeah. are dedicated to Westminster uh, bars and 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 to kind of their constituency events and things like that. Um, you know, in the case, you know, some of them don't actually have families really. Or they're um, away from their know. families for long periods. Of well, time. exactly, and that is a that is a really toxic environment. Let alone all the kind of nasty. And then they end up, and then you can see how easily you might end up in a flat with bad people wanting five thousand pounds to release you. But it's you know, an or it's an easy or, or pretending you... to be I don't know a washing machine salesman called Jim. When your name's really Keith Faz, I mean, you, you, in a way you that sounds way. preposterous. In some ways, that sounds preposterous. But actually, people who have got really, really bad relationships with alcohol and who are very yeah. lonely actually do end up in really bad situations on a very normal mm. situ basis. So the good thing is we don't hear about those people because they're not in the news. Claire, what do you think? Yeah, I, mean, I think the broad point is right. Most of the MPs that are there are really genuine, really well-intentioned, hard-working individuals. I think the atmosphere in that place where they are told how brilliant they are, yeah. there's a lot of bowing and scraping. They are the most important people. And if you're surrounded by that all of the time with nobody to tell point. you, behave yourself, yeah. then you're going to act in a certain way. And that sort of crowd and that sort of thing that they can kind of together. get away with things again and certainly in this case of Mark Menzies these are allegations they are not proven he has had the whip suspended but